Welcome to Trail Playbook for a video guide to descending the flow trail in Soquel Demonstration State Forest in February 2021. This time on a gravel bike, no suspension and drop bars with 650B by 2O tires. Starting at the top with segment one, this trail is three miles of smiles through the six segments and over 1500 feet of descent. The elevation profile is at the top left with the GPS trace at the top right. Flow segment one is 4,800 feet long and almost 400 feet down, and is the longest of the six segments. I made this video for several reasons. Most importantly, I believe in Run What You Brung, that many trails can be enjoyed on a variety of bikes, albeit the ride is bumpier on a rigid bike with no suspension and slower, but still a lot of fun. Secondly, I'm working to improve braking technique slowing down in places with traction, and that was the focus while on the bike. Third, I like a challenge, and this was a lot of fun. This video was shot in the late afternoon on a mid-February 2021 weekday in, I quote, winter conditions with perfect hard pack. The last rain was over a week before. There are only a few moist patches of dirt and no mud. Many of the berms and turns are perfectly shaped and smooth due to ongoing trail work by mountain bikers of Santa Cruz, which really helps on a gravel bike. This first technical section is a great illustration of how I approach this on a gravel bike. Using the flat and smooth patches to pull some brake to keep the speed under control and letting the bike glide through the more chundery stuff like here. Then approaching this feature in the divot, pull some brake, and then catch a little bit of air for fun, but keeping the speed in check. And then into this berm again, and pulling some brake on that smooth divot right there. The breathing is a trick I use to help relax and avoid getting tense with muscles and also just chill when the trail gets a little bit tough. Some pedal, pedal, pedal through here keeping the bike on the ground through those features I normally boost, and then riding high to keep the speed in check. Some facts about the flow trail. It opened in 2015 with 6,300 hours by 530 volunteers to build. It was purposely constructed as a novice friendly trail, but it takes fitness and effort to access. It's very popular. Over 20,000 riders have logged the trail on Strava. Here's another great example of break points when on a rigid. Coming up into this divot right here, great opportunity to get the speed in check. For camera placement, a GoPro session mounted underneath the helmet visor was used for this video. Indeed, it's a bumpy picture, but it helps show that the ride is far from smooth. I like this camera angle for analyzing line spotting and choice because it shows what is happening in the moment, giving a point of view perspective. You see the trail, but also what I was looking at in terms of cues, and I find that to be useful. A little grunt there as I'm getting beat up by the features. These next few seconds illustrate breakpoint choosing. Here, then here again, a little bit at the bottom of this divot, aiming for those spots of smooth ground with traction. Into a little bit of pedal, pedal, pedal before the start of flow segment two. Coming around this turn into flow segment two that is 1900 feet long with 212 feet of descent where the features and turns are a lot more built up and resemble a pump track and of course are a lot of fun. One thing that surprised me when making this video is the places that I had the opportunity to pedal. The higher bottom bracket height of a gravel bike gives an opportunity to pedal, pedal, pedal in so many more places than the trail bike. Combined with the braking power experience in divots, like right here, and I got a very lively, exciting trail experience. 
And speaking of exciting, here come those big berms on Flow Segment 2. I chuckle as I pull the little hop in some air on the exit and then into another big berm for some more fun. With this transition, again braking selectively to the sweeping berm. A little bit of brake right there. Constantly looking for those places of traction. The little check over the shoulder to make sure I have the trail all to myself. Coming into an extended section of ups and downs and an opportunity to pedal, pedal, pedal. Around this turn is the start of flow segment three that is 2,500 feet long with 211 feet down. And it's the most built of infrastructure and bridges like that one just crossed and also has the longest straightaway of pedaling at the end. Even on a gravel bike, it still made sense to go high and then cut to the inside on that berm. But let's be honest, I didn't do that turn very well. A little detail about Soquel Demonstration State Forest it is one of eight demonstration forests operated by Cal Fire, owned since 1988, with a history of logging operations here, both past and present. This upcoming left-hand turn is a little bit tricky with the route in the middle. I got charred around a little bit and then had to carefully pick my way through that transition with the roots. With no suspension, you really feel the brake bumps. So when riding high on this berm, I got banged up, hence the sigh. And then a pleasant surprise with a much smoother berm here. And where I would plow on a trail bike, found myself really carefully choosing lines through here, shooting for that smooth, and then looking for those places of traction to pull a little and I also knew this bridge was going to be a little bumpy from the first one. This time I was a bit more prepared. A little bit of pedal, pedal, pedal into this riser. And down into the left-hand berm. Being careful not to break on the pavers. It's less traction into this absolutely gorgeous turn. And then another turn. <laughs> Here starts that long pedal out to the end of Flow 3. And a great chance to talk about the bike. A 2020 Santa Cruz Stigmata with WTB Ranger 650B by 2O tires, a 21 front and 23 rear PSI was used for this video. The PNW dropper post is actuated by the Wolf Tooth lever at the end of the left handlebar. I love this bike. I can take it almost anywhere and it is my go-to ride for almost anything from road to gravel to sometimes single track like this. Crossing the wide open clearing and tractor trail for the start of flow segment four. 1,500 feet long and 120 feet down, it's the shortest segment. This is also where the trail changes to be more wide open and fast. Here's the difference between style and survive. That transition into the sweeping left hand berm, sometimes I would use to get some air and then cut. But on this bike, I'm just going to hold on. The soil, trees, and wildlife. The soil is mostly sandstone, hence lots of coast redwood with some old growth remaining. Other trees include tan bark oak, California bay, Douglas fir, and my favorite, madrona. Fauna includes birds, mice, and deer frequently spotted in this managed forest. Lots of squirrels too. 
The speed was good here, and the trail was a bit smoother, so I used this as an opportunity to rest before the real fun begins in Flow Segment 5. And now for flow segment five, 2,000 feet long, 315 feet down, the steepest and my personal favorite, coming into this chunder downhill, into this right-hand berm, a little bit of riser, pedal, pedal, pedal to keep the speed up, and then something can be boosted for air, but I rolled it, because, well, I'm on a gravel bike, into this right-hand turn breaking at the bottom of this divot. Fun, fun, fun. <sighs> it was a little windy this day, and there's a fair amount of debris on the trail, which is getting in the way, and sometimes forcing me to take a different line. Ooh. But all in all, tons of fun. So I cut a little inside on this turn, and then, wait a second, what just happened there? Okay, so I went back through the video, played it slow-mo. What I think happened is I pulled a little brake coming on the top end of the riser. Lost traction in the front wheel, came unclipped on both pedals, and actually the handlebar made contact with my chin. I was okay, but a little bit spooked, and also this shows traction is really important, as are where I'm making choices for braking. And things came a little off the rails there, or off the pedals. <sighs> With that near miss, I do dial it back a little bit for the remainder of the trail. Is one, it's really easy to let the speed get away from you. Two, I didn't want to make another mistake. And three, it's still a lot of fun. And here's that extended pedal, pedal, pedal section for the crossing of Tractor Trail before the start of flow segment six. <sighs> Cruising into flow segment six, 4,135 feet long, 370 feet down, and the fastest starting this ripping straight away. I skip that feature, it can be doubled, going to the left, and then I'm simply focusing on keeping the bike smooth through these first sets of chicanes. And now almost 13 minutes into this effort, those bumps are really starting to get to me with that big sigh out. I'm keeping the bike on the ground through this feature and then into this awesome, ripping right-hand burn, being mindful of the places I can break for traction. A full compression. A little note to myself of full compression on that transition before entering these sweeping turns through what makes flow segment six so much fun and so fast. Mm. It's a topic for another video on a different bike. I've actually been chasing a personal best on this trail for quite some time. I really like the mix of tech and line choice, fitness and speed that enables one to lay down their best time on this. And I think it's a really great trail to focus on riding better. By now I'm kind of tired of getting jostled by roots, so uh. I just cut to the inside and skip those roots on the entry to that turn. And then a tiniest bit of air on this feature, because why not, into these flat chicanes that I really like. Always a good challenge. And the setting sun illuminating this long, sweeping right-hand turn. With one of my favorite features, this downhill, 
that's almost a G out into the chicane. So much fun. Coming into some pavers and a plank bridge for the last few turns of flow on a gravel bike. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful as you think about Run What You Brung for riding one of the Bay Area's top trails. And don't forget to smash subscribe and ring the bell to be in the loop for future trail playbook videos. Mm -hmm.